How can you make more money as a private investigator? Hi, Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, Premium Private Investigator Training, from someone who's been there and done that. There's a very interesting thing that I learned a while ago that really changed the amount of money that I make. And it was studying uh, some marketing and studying some business growth and development things. And one of the gurus of, uh, in the world of business development was someone asked him, you know, how can I make an extra $40,000 a year? And the guru said, you know, I, I can't teach you one thing that's going to make you forty grand extra per year. He says, I can teach you 40 things that are each going to make you an extra $1,000 a year. And that was very interesting to me. It was a real moment for me because I began to really look at the smaller individual things that I do or didn't do that could increase uh, a re return on investment for me, that could make me some more money. And uh, for example, I wasn't planning on sharing this one with you, but I, I will. Just things like reaching out to your current customers, uh, you know, your current clients. Uh, if you're working for law firms or human resource departments, things like that. You know, the only time to contact them is not when they call you or contact you for working a case or to do work for them. Uh, but, you know, you can contact them. You can send out every 30 days or 45 days uh, some mail to them. Uh, and you know me, I'm a big snail mail guy. I, I like to contact people that way. But, um, you know, if, if uh, you've written an article that's been published somewhere, to send a copy to them with a little cover letter that says, hey, I thought you'd be interested to see the the latest article that was published. Maybe it's just some statistics and information that you think they might want to know. Uh, if you if you see some new numbers on internal theft and the losses being caused by that, that might be an article you want to cut out and uh, send to your clients and say, hey, I, this is some interesting information I thought you'd be interested to know about. And just being a, you know a helper to them, an information provider, just keeping in contact. That's one of those types of things. And I will tell you, uh, the number of times that I've had a, a client call me, you know, I'll, I'll mail a batch of those out and a couple days later I'll get a call and they'll say, Larry, it's so funny, we were just talking about you and then we got this letter. We've got this thing, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you that has happened time and time again for me. For some reason they're thinking of me, they're talking about the problem they have, but until they get a letter from me, they don't pick up the phone and call. I can't explain it. And I don't care. That's fine. I send out the letters. I make the extra money. So today, the three things there are three things in particular I want to talk to you about that they can make you extra money as a prof, uh, as a private investigator. And really, it boils down to this: it's offering more services. Uh, there are plenty of ways to grow your business, but offering more services is probably a real instantaneous thing that you can do that makes sense. Uh, and I'm going to offer three things. One is skip tracing and finding missing persons. Uh, this is a skill set I almost can't imagine being a private investigator without doing a fair amount of skip tracing. If you're new to the industry, skip tracing is locating people. It's finding people who have skipped out on a debt or a judgment they own or just you know generally refer to missing persons as a skip trace even if they haven't truly skipped out. So a long lost love, that type of thing. So here's a circumstance where you may want to be thinking in terms of you don't really do a lot of skip tracing or you do it in association with other cases that you take. What if you put that front and forward and offer that as a service to banks and lending institutions or uh, small companies? And generally it's easier to get in with small, smaller places than the bigger ones. Of course, the bigger ones do a lot of this in-house. But look at the businesses in your neighborhood up and down your street. And, and think in terms of, are there people that they need to find? Are there people who may have skipped out without paying? Uh, those types of things. So adding skip tracing is one of the three things that you can add to your business that will allow you to bring in more money. Uh, the number two service that I want to suggest to you is surveillance. Now, if you're, again, if you don't work in this industry regularly, if you haven't got your license yet, you may it may surprise you. A lot of private investigators simply don't do surveillance. It's just not something that they do. They're, it's so easy to do so much on the computer now that it's, it's easy to be a private investigator and really never leave your office. I think that's a big mistake. I think you're missing out on a lot. But here's the key thing. If you, if you are a private investigator and you're primarily doing background checks, pre-employment screenings, whatever it might be, 
uh, think about adding surveillance uh, as one of the services you offer. Now, initially, uh, this is the type of thing that's going to be attractive to uh, individual clients, private people, uh, you know, husband, wife, cheating spouses, cheating boyfriends and girlfriends. Uh, but you're going to find some other uh, situations too. So when you start to focus on how do you bring in more surveillance work, focus uh, on making your website or any of your marketing, uh, drawing attention, uh, getting the attention of the people who might be onesie twosie type clients like that. Not my favorite type of client. I would much rather pick up a new law firm who's going to use me over and over again. But you know what? When you're trying to make ends meet, Picking up those domestic cases, picking up cases that involve surveillance uh, can be a real help to you. Uh, number three, add process serving to, to the things that you do. This is probably the single easiest way to add money to your bottom line in a really convenient and easy way. You're marketing very specifically to law firms and, and specific types of law firms, so it's a very inexpensive way. I'm not talking about taking out ads and you know the bar association magazine or anything like that I'm talking about sending letters to, to law firms uh, offering pro uh, process serving for them uh, it becomes a very steady reliable form of income for you that really you can do pretty much at your convenience the, the law firms will call you up they'll say hey we got you know four packs down here for you or you know we got uh, two packs at the courthouse for you you simply go pick up the packets when you get a chance and you want to be somewhat timely about this but you know there are there's days you have days to do this for the most part go pick up the packets run out to where the addresses are serve the process uh, again uh, if you follow me for a while you know most of the time your, your service of process is going to be to fairly willing people not not a real problem if they are problem child if they are refusing service if they're hiding skipped out then you charge more for that but uh, this process serving is a very quick way to add money to your bottom line and, and really, to be honest with you, it can really help ends meet uh, if you're having a tough time. So don't forget about process serving. If you'd like more information about all of this, by the way, of course I have the different training materials. And if you go to shadowanyone.com, uh, like at shadowanyone.com slash PS, I have information about the process serving course, but I teach about surveillance. If you're watching this video anywhere but my blog, you know, think about uh, hopping over and, wa and watching the video or seeing this at uh, shadowanyone.com, which is my blog, because uh, my written descriptions and what I go into is a lot more detailed than just the descriptions that'll be posted below this video if you're watching it somewhere else. Um, so keep those things in mind. Adding services can add money to the bottom line of your business, and I hope you have a very profitable business, and it's something that you can make a lot of money doing what you really enjoy doing. This is Larry K. ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.